Good morning, everybody. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to talk about a GMAT quant prep problem. Uh, I will also like to mention that in my channel at You Can Do Math, I have solved all kinds of quant problems just for you. So if you'll subscribe to my channel, you'll have access to all these problems which you can review. You can also download when you get a chance. So please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner of the screen. So let's get started on this problem. Uh, four character password consists of one letter from the English alphabet and three different digits from zero to nine. If the letter is the second or third character of the password, how many different passwords are possible? Okay, solution. There are 26 characters in English alphabet. Any of the 26 characters can be the second or third character of the password. Okay, there are 10 digits from zero to nine, not nine, it is 10 actually, if you count. So one of these digits, once one of these digits is selected for the password, then we'll have 10 minus one, nine digits will remain. Oh, when one of the remaining nine digits is selected, nine minus one, eight digits will remain. Hence, we, if we assume the alphabet is in the second character, is the second character of the password, then, okay, then um, the number of ways in which the three digits can be selected is the remaining in the remaining first, third, and fourth, as the remaining first, third, and fourth. Remember, the second character is the alphabet. So what are the number of ways? 10 for the first digit, okay? Because the zero to nine, there are 10 digits, multiplied by 26. 26 comes because there are 26 possible alphabets, multiplied by the next two or two different digits. And there are nine, digits left when one digit is selected in the first, first position. So in the third position, there can be nine possibilities. And in the fourth position of the password or fourth character of the password, I've taken two digits out in the first and the third, there are eight possible digits left. So total number of ways in which the password can be constructed or total number of passwords is 10 multiplied by 26, multiplied by nine, multiplied by eight which is 18,720 passwords. Okay, correct answer is B, 18,720. So I will stop here today. If you have any question, just shoot me a comment and I'll come back to you with my response. Also, please participate in the poll that I posted. Do you, are you learning from what I'm posting? Do you like re reviewing my videos? Please uh, take a minute to part part participate in the poll. And I will see you next time with another interesting problem solved just for you. Take care. Have a nice day. See you. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. I'm coming back next time with another problem solved just for you.